It's Jaimini that says Vishnu. So it's Jaimini that says Vishnu. Okay. Parashara says Brahma. Yeah. But this this is an Adi Devata list. Yeah. So that's a whole different level. This is the list we want to use. And then if we go to I thought you didn't worship Brahma. No. Did I say to worship Brahma? Oh. I thought you said Brihat Prashra says worship Saturn to Verse eighteen. He no, he doesn't say worship. Oh. He talks about the Adi Devatas. He says for sun is Agni, for moon is water, Mars Gunda, Mercury Vishnu. Jupiter Indra, Venus Indrani, Sachi, Indra's wife, and Saturn Brahma. Does he say to worship them? He doesn't tell you what to do with them. That's all Guru Upadesha to tell you how to use it. So I, I'm reading hmm? here about the Dasha period. Should I read That's, that? There's handouts. And yeah, handouts yeah, with that. Years going back. I don't know what Okay, so Vishnu purifies Saturn through the water element. Vishnu is about for when we purify, when we clean the dirt of Saturn, it's, it's about our sins being forgiven. It's asking God for forgiveness. That's the cleansing. And that's why you pour water over the Shiva. Mm -hmm. When Saturn, I mean, when we use Shiva to purify the issues of um, Saturn, we are burning, we're working off the bad karma. Little different. The cleansing is a forgiving. Mm -hmm. the, the Shiva side is do some tapasya. Do something that is very uncomfortable. Sit for 40 days doing a certain mantra that doesn't feel good, that makes you stay up way too late, that really wears you out, that, you know, it burns up the karma. Suffer in that way, not the, you know, the other way that Saturn wants you to. But, okay. So... It feels like punishing. Huh? Punishing. Punish yourself. Mm -hmm. And punish yourself properly. That way you get benefit from it instead of having to have financial problems or health problems or things in another nature. Give up some pleasure in that way. Tapasya. So with that, for that purpose, we do the mantra Om Vishnave Namah. The forgiveness. Wait, for forgiveness versus tapasya? Cleansing away Saturn. He's forgiving and cleaning away our Saturn. Om Vishnave Nama. Now there's certain mantras that we can add on. And the first one is whom. Whom is inserted into the mantra to dispel negativity. When Saturn is connected to or aspecting the Lugna. You counting syllables? Uh, yeah. so you How long have you been studying? One, two, three, four, okay. So you add the whom Six, when so it's in the Lugna, when Saturn's in the Lugna yeah. or aspecting the Lugna? Or you use this mantra okay. for that? Mm -hmm. no? Say again? Are you saying you add the whom if it's in the Lugna? If it's in the Lugna or aspecting the Lugna. Oh, yeah. If the okay. problem is being caused... Because Saturn is hurting the Lugna. Say again? Use the fourth house. What is the fourth house? Four, three, four, four words, seven syllables. Four words, seven syllables. Right. Yeah. So it's the fourth house, it's the root. The source is the four. four. Say again? The source is the fourth house, and the energy goes to the seventh house. Mm -hmm. And where's the deity sit? The deity sits in the first house. No, the deity sits in the, uh, in the uh, tenth house. In the tenth house. So all the kindreds are supported to the Lagna. Mm -hmm. So when you when you said for cleansing Om Vishnu Namaha, but here it says Om Hom. So why is it Hom? Why did we just add Hom? When Saturn is associated with the Lagna, 
or whether it's in the lagna or aspecting the lagna and causing those kind of problems. What, what would somebody who has Saturn aspecting the lagna and Saturn's not giving good results? What would you see? What would be a sign? Ill health. Ill health? What else? Um, they dress kind of sloppy or maybe their house is really unclean. Mm, for this, we wouldn't see the house. Okay. We'd see them dressing sloppy. What else? They would smell bad. Older than they they wouldn't smell that good? Yeah. <laughs> What else? The person looks older than they actually are. <laughs> Maybe they're aging faster than normal. What else? They're, they're dark, gloomy, kind of depressive. They could be depressed. Not very sociable. It'll be a little bit more with the moon. Okay. Saturn with the moon. Yeah. Right. Well, that'll be more making them depressed. Okay. You'll see tears in their clothes. Right. Maybe they live. Or maybe wow. stains. <laughs> You know, I have that, but I don't have Saturn aspect in a while now. Do you have tears or stains right now? I usually have some kind of stain on my face. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't eat without spilling Do you have Saturn aspect in your rising sign? No, I'm saying... Where's your Saturn? Saturn's in the 8th house in Capricorn. Uh-huh. And then I have the Lugna Lord, which is the 8th house in Scorpio. So it aspects well, by Rashi Tristan. Yeah, well, we'll see, we'll see. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, and I, and I have buttons off clothes. And this is a general quality of Saturn. Okay. I have all that too, but I don't have this. <laughs> this is how when you can look at somebody and you know that they're suffering from Saturn. Okay? Om Hum Vishnu Venema. Will also work if Saturn's afflicting the Navamsha Lagna. Huh? Where's Saturn? In the Lagna. Of your Navamsha? Yeah. Okay. There we go. <laughs> if you notice the paragraph that came after that. So he purifies Saturn on the Lagna and brings focus and foundational strength of Saturn. When Saturn aspects the D9 Lagna or it's in it, it brings older partners into the life. And, That's always true. And it, that right there will also make sure that they're good older partners. You know, not dirty older partners or just, you know, all the negativities of Saturn. Now, is this bit just the Lugna or also including the Lugna Lord? Yeah, if it's with the Lugna Lord or aspect right. in it? Well, well it can, this is, it primarily has some connection with the Lugna. Okay. And if you if we're adding whom, and what's whom do? How? By forgiving. That's Om Vishnavanam. No, it, it removes it the evil. It, it, dispels the it dispels the negativity. It dispels the negativity. Okay? You'll find people that have Saturn strongly influencing the Lagna will be very argumentative and they'll often not say nice things. <laughs> or they'll have really bad jokes. <laughs> okay, when Saturn has association to the Aruda Lagna, it hurts the image, it hurts recognition. And for Aruda Lagna, or the fourth house, if Saturn is hurting the fourth house, or hurting the Aruta Lagna, we add Shreem. Is that also if Saturn is the um, ruler of the of the Aruta Lagna? That could be possible. So hurting the But better for that is to make Saturn exalted. Fourth in the Okay. Okay, so we want to exalt Saturn if he's the lord of the Aruta Lagna. Yeah, because I have that. Mm -hmm. And how do you exalt a planet? You worship it in oh, its the, form uh, of the Vishnu avatar. Right, okay. Which is the Vishnu avatar? Yeah, we talked about that. What's the Vishnu avatar, wow, Saturn? this really is true, Korma. Okay. Mm -hmm. So by worshiping Korma avatar, therefore you exalt Saturn, and your image will be better. Worshiping the avatar will exalt the planet. Yeah. The ruler. Yeah. Yeah. The, will exalt the planet. It's you're asking for the exalted energy of that planet. I mean, if you look at the uh, avatar handout that I gave, 
the first section is about the Avatar story. The second section is how it exalts the planet and why of each planet. Right? Who's read it? We read it once, but that was a while ago. Long while. You, the better question is, who remembers it? <laughs> I am. Um, so, Shreem. We insert Shreem into the mantra. So it becomes Om Shreem Vishnave Nama. So what do you think, Ma? You don't know? How's it feel? Set your eyes and say it. Om Shreem Vishnave Nama. Om Shreem Vishnave Nama. Om Shreem Vishnave Nama. Do you want to add home in there? Where would you add nope, that's not who. Just stream. It is. You, but if you wanted you, to add You take one or the other. Oh, you can't add them all together. You can, but... <laughs> you can do it all at once. I'm giving, you, I'm giving you certain rules here okay. to add a bija right. correctly. Okay. Otherwise, do you know how to add bijas? No, I don't know. No, this is really good. Do you know which bijas should go before which ones? I think this um, is so Which good. one should go first? Which one should, which should go second? No, I don't know that either. Yeah, you exactly. got the rule book on that? Uh, <laughs> you're getting into some heavy tantra with that. There's, oh, okay. there's the Shakti triangles and Hring Kling Hung and all oh, kinds of things and, and which are coming first that you need to order it up. And we're not doing that. Okay. So if you just remember, if it's hurting the Lagna, boom, we add it. If it's hurting the Aruta Lagna or the fourth house, Shreem, we add it. And Shreem is, it's cleansing... It's, it's very water. So it's like, what's water do? It cleans, it nourishes, it refreshes. What else does water do? Clears. Moisturizes. Heals, moisturizes. So stream is following that energy. You know, I realize I've it got both. Works. I've got Saturn's aspect on the Aritalagna and it is the ruler of the Aritalagna. I should do both of them, right? <laughs> so if, if Shreem cleanses, whom dispels? Okay. It's like more bayou? It's more like sweeping. Okay. When you sweep your porch, uh -huh. is is uh, whom. When you're scrubbing it with water, that's your Shreem. Okay. Yeah, Shreem. Yeah, it's more, it's, there's... The whom has this really big, like, push it out of the way. Yeah. Then we have Kleem. Kleem is Kama Bija. The desire fulfilling sound. When Saturn is damaging the seventh house or the A7. And you're considered damaging as by Graha or Rashi Dristi? Or Lordship of? Damaging. We'll go through a bunch of charts okay. afterwards. Right? So when you're taking notes, have two pages. One page where you're taking the detailed notes, and have one page where you're just going to have a little note. Saturn, Lugna. Saturn, and put an X. Lugna. Saturn hurting that Lugna. And we add whom Vishnavanama. And do just so you have one thing, quick, quick to remember. You don't have to dig through lots of notes. Mm -hmm. Saturn fourth, Om Shreem Vishnavanama. Saturn hurting the seventh or the A7. What happens when Saturn hurts the A7? Um. Mm -hmm. Your associates are going to be like Saturn. Business associates will be like very... <laughs> Square and official, which isn't too bad as long as they're not dishonest. It can bring some dishonesty to them. Mm -hmm. What about your sex life? Oh, obstruct it. <laughs> How's it going to obstruct it? Um, you won't either. You won't meet somebody appropriate, or maybe you'll meet somebody too old to be able to do anything. <laughs> too old to do anything. It'll give symptoms in the sex life of being too old. Impotence. How's that? It it damages the sex life. Could you say again? Om clean Vishnavanama. 
And clean is what? Okay, we got sweeping, scrubbing, and... It's Kama. It's Kama Bija. So Saturn, think of Saturn as being... Shireen. He's too old, you know, somebody who gets too old and they, like, don't love anymore. They kind of... Where they their love dries up. So it, 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 it pumps them up a little? It gives them Viagra? It no, it's not about Viagra. It's... <laughs> I mean, it, it'll give that effect in the end, but it'll give it the correct way. Because um, true Viagra is love. The best Viagra you could ever get is, is, is real love. Because if there's real love there, that love will increase ojas. Okay. Okay. Somebody who's feeling love in their heart, the ojas is growing in them. Well, you know, when somebody falls in love, they're just shining, right? Yeah. They're bright. That's the ojas. Ojas makes you bright. If a person's bright, they got ojas going on. So that, that falling in love feeling increases the ojas. So clean is working on um, getting that, that, that ojas back, that shining back, that love back. Removing the blockages to that. We can't take the analogies too much because analogies can only go so far. It's when Saturn's, blo- when Saturn's turning the heart into an old person. Then we give it clean. We clean it. Clean. We're clean. Clean. <laughs> when Saturn's associated with the 10th house, we ream it. <laughs> Om Kreem Vishnave Nama. Kreem is about power. What Saturn? What Saturn do to the 10th? Makes you a slave. Oh, yeah. Makes you a slave. Does he keep you in? Does he keep you in? A, does he give you a high position? Yeah. No, you're always working hard. The underdog. Yeah. Saturn's the underdog. Mm. If Saturn's influencing your career, you end up being the underdog. So, Om Hrim Vishnave Nama. It knocks off that underdog consciousness. Righteous power. You can't fall asleep and have it there. You fall asleep, it's gone. No, I can fall asleep with or without me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you sure? You, did you get this chart here? I'm about to scroll down. <laughs> but do you see how the whom is connected to the lagna? Shreem to the fourth, clean to the seventh, dream to the tenth? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Easy way to remember it, right? Now that's going to also be connected to the trines from it. So whom is going to apply to Saturn bringing this, his dirty energy to the fifth or the ninth house? What, when it's in the first? No, no, just the trine, the whom. Oh. We're talking about the bija. I'm giving you the science behind which bija to use. Okay. okay. And if you use the right bija, you'll get results Two, three times as fast. And that's what we want, right? What mantra did we give uh, the guy that was having the um, legal problems? Saturn was where in his chart? Om Shri Vishnave Nama. Because Saturn was affecting as a Ruta like that, right? Fourth house, yep. Fourth house and a Ruta. Yep, see the Ruta right there? So we got to be able to give the right Bija. Someone is having legal problems, and it takes an extra month for the mantra to have an effect, and they end up in jail because your mantra didn't work fast enough. At least they'll get out. (laughs) Sometimes it's too late, so you know. Now, to the ninth. Trines, trines. So, so what's the trines to the fourth house? Okay. Trying to the seventh. Look, we. Seven eleven three. Seven eleven three. I knew eleven. It's take a triangle. You see the triangle? Yeah. From here, the triangle. From here, the triangle. I use this. I use the North Indian chart so that you can see. Right. 
only one exception to that rule. Eighth house. Saturn in the eighth house, one of the best mantras is Om Namo Narayanaya. Why? Why? Huh? Eight syllables? Eight syllables. But see, I have sat in the eighth house and actually, uh, what's his name? I wrote Soran. He gave me this mantra. Yeah. That. And I said it for a few days. It didn't work for me at all. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was getting into conflict with people that work and all. Uh-huh. As mm-hmm. soon as I stopped it, mm-hmm. well, we'll go into a few more and we'll see what's, yeah, you know, yeah, what's yeah, going yeah, on. Yeah. This is. Hey, so, what's the symptoms of Saturn in the eighth house? Why would you do that? If we both have Saturn in the eighth house, we have a part. That's a salsa yeah. yoga. Eight hundred in the eighth house. Mm-hmm. And it's not Sasha. Sasha. No, it's not in Mahaprabhu. Yeah. Oh, you're just saying Sasha. Sasha. Yoga. It's called Sasha. At least in Jay it's called Sasha. Yeah. Um, Unless I forgot it and got it wrong. It's some kind of yoga. Yeah, everything's a yoga. So. <laughs> Doesn't Saturn the eighth give you guys longevity? It gives a knowledge of longevity. Oh, knowledge of longevity. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know, when when you have all. Like, how can I say? Someone who has um, allergies, yeah. they know all about allergy medicine. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I know how to help you get rid of your I allergies. don't know anything about allergy medicine. All I know is Ayurveda says strengthen the Agni. That's all I know. What medicines are in the store, I have no clue. Somebody with allergies, they can tell us every brand. And how good and, the, and how bad each one is. So that's Saturn in the 8th. It'll give you knowledge of longevity. <laughs> but, so what You'll know mean? what's good to eat, what's bad to eat, yeah, what's not, you know, it's... You may not do it yet, right? Doesn't mean you do it, no. So, so what's the problem with Saturday? Say again? You can have other people. No. Great Ayurvedic doctors, because, you know, they, they know all about suffering and sickness. They've had every Vata disorder they could get, so they <laughs> Problems, he's in the house of laws, he can cause debts. That's right. That's true. So, if it's third house, it's not the, it's just just not Saturn in the six, in the three, six, eight, and then twelves, and there's eleven, he's not, you know. I mean, I it's think the it's probably, probably, right? oh. Yeah, we can't. It's not, you know, it's giving a few things, but that's. It's not going to be damaging your image there. No. He will be aspecting the 10th house. Right? Where else is he going to be aspecting? The fifth house. One five nine, right? Yeah, so from the fourth house. So, so this will help with career and nine nine oh, I see children. What is the fifth house relative to career? It's also change of career, right? Yeah. You think if he's aspecting the fifth oh, house to change of career and your career? Yeah. You think that's okay, good for promotions? No. Oh, Just like the first one. Not same dead end job. They want to demote you. They want to demote you. If Saturn's not good. Oh, so Saturn is built in. In that house, and he's messing. He'll mess up those other houses. You'll everywhere you go, they want to demote you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I already got a demotion back. No, my title really? change. Yeah, my title change. Your title change was a demotion. Well, I was in charge of a person, and then they changed it so that that person worked for the market. So now I, do, I have nobody under me. So you basically, I really did. Demotion. I got demoted. Yeah. So own the moment I and I has taken care of that. And so, we could ask him if he was paying attention, what, what, what happened, but I bet you it's something along that line. When you got into fights with people at work with that mantra, were they people above you or people below you? It doesn't matter. I was just getting angry easily. And angry was, easily? Yeah, rare, so I just stopped it then. Okay. When we look at your chart, bring it up again and we'll see what's going on. What else was getting activated? So there's no bija with that, it's just nango? Nango's not a bija, is it? Well, nango and I, no. Nango means, like, you know, it's... I humble myself before you. Yeah. 
What's the difference between the mo and the ma? Gra gramma grammatical. Okay, do they mean the same thing? It's like give and giving, okay. and given. Okay. It's just grammatical ending. Yeah. Same thing. Saturn. Is Saturn good for health? No. Um, when Saturn is connected to the Lugna or aspecting it natally, it can cause a lot of health problems. And it brings a lot of tamas into the person's life. What time do you normally get up in the morning? Me? Yeah. I get up around 8. 8. Okay. Okay. You'll I mean, see. Yeah. When Saturn is strongly influencing the Lagna, 8 is the earliest the person will get up. Yeah. 8 is, okay. is like pushing it. <laughs> exactly. You know? So you exaggerated for us. So. Well, you know, I've, I've made it like a discipline. I said, i got to get out. i got to like, I'm going to do, I'm going to practice at least before 9. At least a few mantras. <laughs> 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 you know, at least take a shower, get up and take a shower, oh, you know, okay. before I... Take a shower and do Gayatri Mantra. Have you been doing Gayatri Mantra? Have you been I've worshiping been, the sun? I've been doing, uh, I've been doing other...